Morning everybody. I planted carrots a couple of weeks ago. They're just starting to come through the soil now. I figured I'd show you and then I'll show you how I planted them. How'd that sound? Two weeks ago I planted these. So why don't you come along and see how I did it? And what's up doc? Look, look at the carrot. Look. I grew that. Grew that in the ground. That came from the ground. That didn't come from a bucket. But you can grow carrots like this too. You're going to need to know a few things first. Okay. Carrots takes a long time to get that size. He was in the ground probably the best part of five months. I'm guessing the reason you're here he wants to grow a few carrots eh? First thing you're going to have to figure out, where you're going to grow them. Do you have somewhere outside you can plant them? Are you going to put them in tubs? Are you going to put them in, you know, buckets? That'll work fine if you don't have anywhere else. But the, the biggest thing you're going to need to know is soil. Carrots need a loose, nutritious soil. Two of these come from the exact same seed. That carrot needs to be able to push its way down into that soil. There can't be any obstruction in the way, rocks or sticks or the carrot is going to want to grow down. So you're going to need a nice loose soil. Chances are if you're just starting out you don't have any, right? So my advice to you, you're going to have to spend a few dollars starting out. Now you can you can reuse this stuff over and over. But I'm going to suggest to you get yourself a good quality, good quality soil mix. By good quality, I don't mean going to Walmart and get the cheapest stuff you can find. You're going to have to get stuff with, with something in it, unless you got the ability to make your own soil, which is not that difficult. But it's a whole other topic. So what I'm going to do is just focus on the carrots and what they need, how far to put them, what kind of seed there is, what kind of carrots there are, there's a million different kinds of carrots, there's three or four different kinds of seed, Different. they're all the same seed but they're different processes to make them easier for planting and, and, and spacing out and I mean carrot seeds are very very tiny, I'll show you now in a second, but for soil you don't have anything to start with and you're starting out, you don't have, all you got is a yard with lawn on it right? You're not going to be able to dig up your lawn and plant carrots, right? Or your backyard. Because they got to be able to go down. We live in Newfoundland, and there's a reason why they call it the rock, right? Anybody ever tried to dig a fence, dig a fence post hole? Knows what I'm talking about. So, we're going to plant some carrots in this tub. He's about 16 inches deep, and that's what you want. You want enough room for your carrot. Now what you're not seeing here is the th thin root. Look, this carrot had six or seven inches of this on it when I pulled it out, right? So you're going to want to allow for that. If you want a 12 inch long carrot, you're going to need about 18 inches of a bucket. Okay? Because you got to allow for that. You're going to have to allow for that. And if you look right here, that pot will not grow a carrot that long. So, the next thing you got to look at is what kind of carrots you're going to grow. Because you can get them in all lengths. You can get them long and skinny, short and fat, and anywhere in between. The first thing you're going to need is soil. So, go out and buy some Promix. As much as you can afford, it's not cheap, but you don't have to spend the youngster's inheritance, okay? But you know, you're gonna to have to get some, uh, if you want success, I mean, you can plant, you can plant garrets on the roof of your garage, but they're not gonna grow, right? The next thing we gotta look at, let's talk about seeds. So you can buy, you can buy your regular seed, which is not treated at all, it's very tiny. It's, uh, it's hard to space. Uh, there's a lot of thinning involved after the fact and uh, they're hard to see, hard to work with. There's another option 
which is pelleted seed. Now the seeds are seeds go through a process where they're coated with a clay and diatomaceous earth mixture, and it makes the seed a little bit a e little bit bigger, a little bit easier to see. You can space them better. Therefore, you don't need to thin as much after the fact. Some drawbacks: the lifespan of the seed, the actual viability of the seed, is uh, short. They're more expensive. You don't get as many seeds per pack, but they are my favorite. They're easier to space. There's no thinning. You can see them. And another option is uh, seed tape. They actually take a, a very slight tissue paper and they embed carrot seeds on the paper, kind of, kind of space half decent. But you will need to thin them out. Uh, you, you can get a, you can get a lot of carrots set pretty quickly with seed tape. So you know there's advantages and disadvantages. Seed tape is probably the most expensive. For, for you know for five dollars you're only getting uh, 500 seeds right and you probably have to thin out half of them so you get 250 carrots for five bucks whereas the uh, the pelleted seed you're getting 250 seeds for you know three 350 and there's ch good chance but with the regular seed it's the cheapest option you can have thousands of seeds for two dollars right my favorite way to do this is with uh, with the pelleted seed they're, they're a lot easier to handle they're uh, they're in the middle you don't you can you can space them so that you don't have to thin at all and uh, that's what we're going to be using in the video today we're going to be using the pelleted seed they're going to be from my favorite carrot which is sweetness pelleted live from the seed company by ew gaze and this is what uh, this is what the package looks like Okay. This is a sweetness pelleted lang. They're, I mean, they grow, uh, it says on the package, it doesn't say. So here's your different kind of seeds. On the left there, you got, that's your normal, regular carrot seed. And, uh, you can see size of that dime that those seeds are not very big and you see how hard they will be to handle then you got your pelleted seed these are from Mackenzie and they just, just these seeds the same seed but they got a little coating on them and they're uh, as brightly colored so you can see them when you're dropping them in the soil the seeds we're going to be using got uh, got a white coating on them it's just different companies got different colors and they got different reasons for it marketability and so on and so forth then the next one is this seed tape so you can see this comes in a roll you can unroll this and lay it out but you can see the seeds are not really spaced two inches apart right so you're gonna to have to do some thinning with that if you I mean like, that's okay you don't have to thin them until you know a month later a month and a half later that's fine as kind but like I said this is the most expensive option if you're only growing a few carrots, sure, you might want to use this. So, what I'll be using this year is pelleted seed. The next thing you want to consider is the type of carrot that you want to grow. I mean, you can grow, you know, little finger carrots. They'll, they'll get, they'll grow at about four and a half inches long. So you can grow them. Uh, you can grow them in, in, you know, shallower pots or shallower plots, right? See, so it range from the little finger, which grows to three and a half inches, to what I've grown in the past was a, it's called a tender long imperator and they can grow to two feet long right so you're gonna to have to figure out what kind of carrots you want you can get you can get half long you can get long there's there's so many different kinds of carrots it's uh, I'm gonna be planting sweetness and that's this carrot they're beautiful carrots they're very tasty sweet juicy uh, it's a good all-around carrot and that's what I'm going to be using. My favorite carrot. And I've grown uh, so many different kinds: Nantes, Chantenay, Chantenay Red Core, Chantenay Short, Lang, uh, Nantes Lang. What else have I grown? Oh my God, I can't even begin to say. I'm after trying them all. You might want to think that, think about what's available, what's the easiest and cheapest for you to get, and uh, you, you can either, you can either make your soil for the carrots, make it deep enough for your carrots, or if you're doing stuff outside in in a in the ground, you may want to uh, 
choose your carrot variety for the type of soil that you have. I mean, here in Newfoundland, everything is uh, rocks and gravel. You really need to cultivate your soil and get it good and uh, good and ready. It needs to be deep, loose. If you can take, if you can take a pen or something and push it down to full length with just two fingers, with very little resistance, your soil is pretty good for growing carrots. How's that? That's a nice tip. So you're gonna have to choose your carrots uh, according to length. I mean, you can get carrots that grows like a turnip, like a ball. You can get carrots that grows like a, a Jesus, uh, like a stick, right? But like I said, I'm growing the, the sweetness. I bought a couple of big packages actually, because I'm gonna grow a lot of carrots. Uh, this is a one ounce package, and I'd say there's, uh, I'd say there's five, six hundred seed in there. So let's get going. Let's get started. So I got my pot. He's nice and deep. He's about, uh, you know, he's about sixteen inches, and I got him uh, filled right to the top with Pro Mix. He filled right to the top, almost overflowing with Pro Mix, and the reason that is is because. I'm going to squat all that down now and make a nice, uh, make a nice planting bed for those little seeds. Let's flatten this out now. This is all going to settle too as your, uh, as time goes on. You keep watering it and so on and so forth. So we're going to want to get that as level as possible. It's not, uh, not complicated. Just flatten it out. I'm just going to use the bottom of this pot. So if you're a beginner, this is a great way to get some carrots for yourself. It's not the cheapest option, but again, think about it. Next year you can reuse this soil. Just add some, uh, add some compost, some fertilizer. So anyway, that's our, uh, that's our pot. Okay. That's the size of our seed. That's what we're dealing with. You can see them fine, the best kind. You can see them, uh, nice contrast there between the soil and the seed, right? You can see it, you know where you're going, so you, you're not going to get lost. We've got our soil in the bucket, so we're going to go around now and pop little holes down for the seed every, uh, every probably two inches. So we'll come in about an inch from the, from the rim, about as deep as that is wide, look. So about a, about a half inch. We'll poke some holes down. So we come in about an inch and we're going to go right around the circle. So there's one, two inches, there's two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We've got room for seventeen carrots. <coughs> But for our purposes, for our demonstration purposes, here's what we got. We got 17 holes, we got 17 carrot seeds. So we're going to take our seed now. Just 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, way too much. Way too many. That's alright. That's alright, they goes in the same way they came out. So we're just going to drop them down in the holes now. And just put the rest back in, see? Yes, my son. So, now what do we do? Okay, are they going to grow? Not yet. Some of them are not quite deep enough. So we'll just take a, poke them down in a little bit. Now we get that done, we're going to take some more of our soil, like so. Not too much. You know, it wants about another, another uh, quarter inch. And we're just going to sprinkle it lightly, fill in them holes. Right? Well, see nothing that's sure. Now, same thing again. Flatten it all out. Try not to disturb the seeds so much. We get our flattener outer thing. Soil is pretty moist. But we are going to give them a good dose of water now. And we're going to make sure that this, this soil stays wet until the little tiny hair starts poking out of this. Let's give him a little drink. Here comes the watering hand, look. Now you gotta be gentle. You don't wanna float the seeds out, right? So we'll just leave it and let it settle. Let it settle down. 
Now let's give them another bit. What's these? What's these seeds? Good and wet. Now we got our carrots planted, and today is. February 26th, right? There you go, sweetness, carrots. And there you go, carrots planted. Now, I can't stress how important it is to keep this soil moist because those seeds are coated. The water got to penetrate that coating, soften it up before it even gets to the seed. So we got, it's very important to keep it moist. Very, very important. We'll keep that moist, and uh, that's the 26th. So in about in about 10 to 14 days, we should see little little prickly hairs coming up through here. 17 sets of little prickly hairs. If uh, this is February now, so I'm going to keep it in the greenhouse. But if it was in the May, I put some remay over that and uh, put it outside. The remay will trap the trap the heat, keep the moisture in, keep the carrot rust fly out. So there you go, there's 17 carrots planted. I'm gonna poke this away now and give her, uh, give her a couple of weeks. So there, now you're on your way, growing your own carrot. I tell you, there's nothing better chomping down into a fresh carrot that you just pulled right from the ground. The sweetness and the taste and the juiciness is not as like something you, you, can't, you can't buy that in the store. So I'm good by. Later on in the spring now, I'm gonna get a I'm going to take the camera out in the garden when I go set my carrots in the ground and uh, take you along for the ride then too. So uh, if you're not already subscribed, uh, just take a second there to click the link. Click the link, it's uh, down below. There's a red button. Click subscribe. Any new videos, you'll get a notification and you can come and uh, size up what I got on the go. Hopefully we'll see you again. I'm no expert. I do play one in the greenhouse. You can ask me some questions. Uh, you know, I'm fairly knowledgeable, I like to think. And uh, if I don't know the answer, I'm sure I can make one up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to subscribe. See you next time it looks at you.